rhapsody of realities Giving you life for meaning every day My life made perfect with rhapsody It's Rhapsody Time, Reality Time. Today is Monday, the 24th of April, and the title for today's Rhapsody message is We Have Received the Kingdom. The opening verse is from Luke chapter 12, verse 32. Fear not, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 28 tells us something similar to what we just read in our opening verse. It says, Wherefore, we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved, let us have grace, whereby we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear. The King James almost gives the impression that you are in the process of receiving the kingdom, but when you study the verse in the original Greek rendering, that's not what it's saying. You got the kingdom already. The complete Jewish Bible makes it clearer. It says, Therefore, since we have received an unshakable kingdom, let us have grace, through which we may offer service that will please God with reverence and fear. We have received the kingdom that we should live in it and express the life of the kingdom. What is the life of the kingdom? How can we know the true Christian life that God expects us to live today? The first thing to do is to study the book of Acts. The epistles also gives us a lot of insight. Finally, the prophetic word of blessings to the Jews about the millennial reign of Christ shows us an amazing picture of what the life of the kingdom is. That's what He has already given us to live in and experience now. Anything less than this isn't full Christianity. It isn't the life of the kingdom. This is the reason we are raising and educating God's people on the kingdom life and the kingdom way of doing things. There is a kingdom way to think. Now that you are in the kingdom, you must learn to live by the principles of God's word. His word is our blueprint and roadmap on how to live the ever-glorious, joyous and transcendent life of the Kingdom. Let us take the prayer for today. Righteous Father, I thank you for not only bringing me into the Kingdom, but for also giving me the Kingdom. Thank you for your word, which educates and enlightens me on the kingdom life and the kingdom way of doing things. I live the ever glorious, joyous and transcendent life of the kingdom. In Jesus name. Amen. During your times of further studies, I encourage you to go to these scriptures. Mark chapter 1 verse 14. Luke chapter 17 from verse 20 to 21 in the Amplified Classic Version. Thank you for tuning in for today's Rhapsody reading and I'll see you tomorrow. We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe he is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I am born again. 
Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah. Congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tnimsia at gmail.com. That's tnimsia at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.